very good morning students we have discussed about the necessity of protected water supply and also about the importance of water quality in our previous lectures today we are going to learn about the water quality parameters water quality standards for domestic water supply and classify these parameters with reference to aesthetic perception and also from health perception friends you are all aware of distilled water having chemical composition of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen it's tasteless odorless but whereas we when we drink a natural water it relates to taste the taste depends on the percentage the taste depends on the percentage of chemical composition of minerals and salts being part of water. Hence, here we need to understand why and how much concentration of these minerals and salts to be present in water so that water will be safe for domestic water supply. That is what we are going to address in this talk water quality characteristics, water quality standards and water quality with reference to aesthetic and health perceptions. Here we refer to BIS water quality standards of water supply to public for domestic consumption. Accordingly, consumption. Accordingly, water quality requirements for different uses. The Central Pollution Control Board has developed a concept of designated best use. In that case, they have designated best use class A, where it is not required any treatment if pH is 6.5 to 8.5 and the total coliform organisms uh, MPN count per 100 ml shall be 50 or less. But it is not possible nowadays due to the enormous pollution that is being put into the our water bodies so if at all we are going to go for class c if it is class c drinking water sources uh, source of conventional treatment is required where you can bring down the ph to six to nine in between and the counts of mpn by less than 500 similarly bod should be 3 mg per liter or less than that. So this is the Central Pollution Control Board has given uh, these designated best use of water accordingly. Then again a color coding was also uh, is also has been given to depict the water quality of quality and maps. Blue color. So this if the blue color is there this water can be directly used for drinking and industrial purpose. If it is green water water contained in soil plants is termed as green water. And white water, atmospheric moisture is white water, and brown or grey water is nothing but various grades of wastewater. Wastewater. So, as far as the water quality standards in India are, so as per the designated best use, so if it is dissolved oxygen is six milligram per liter, then ultimately it is the best, and you can go without any treatment. And then BOD should be less than 2 mg per liter, and whereas total coliform count should be less than 50. And PS would be in the range of 6.5 to 8.5. Color unobjectionable, taste tasteless. This comes under what is known as the aesthetic pollution. And then if the hardness is should be almost 200, and whereas calcium hardness should be less than 200. The chloride. Chloride concentration should be less than 250 per milligram per liter. So, <coughs> when the Bureau of Indian Standards, water quality standards of water supply to the public for domestic consumption purpose, accordingly it mentions about the permissible limits and the other being the tolerable limit. The water quality parameter having the quantity and the concentration within the permissible limits. Is, it is also called as a wholesome water. That means these minerals and chemicals, they are 
just required in a requisite concentration for the healthy growth of the body. Whether it may be a calcium, whether it may be magnesium with chlorides or fluoride, that is required. For example, if I give you an example of fluoride, fluoride in excess than 1.5 mg per liter is going to cause a fluorosis, calcium fluorosis and genivalgum, isn't it? But whereas if it is less than 1 mg per liter, then also it is going to cause, affect the health, that is the dental cavities. Likewise, even the nitrates, if it is greater than 45 mg per liter, it is going to cause what is known as methanoglobinemia disease or blue baby diseases. So that is why this comes under what is known as the health perception. So all the physical parameters, what you can consider, is the physical perception, uh, the taste, odor and all those things. And these chemicals as well as excess chemicals, that is the chemicals which are behind the tolerable limit, as well as the uh, microorganisms, that is MPN count, coliforms, behind the tolerable limits, then they are going to be worried about the health perception. So, so if at all these uh, CPCB has given guidelines are available to evaluate quality of water, these are the guidelines to evaluate the quality of water for thinking purpose, that is the best use. Where E is for A class E is nothing but drinking water source without conventional treatment but after disinfection and then C is drinking water source after conventional treatment and disinfection. So these are the things we are uh, discussing all these things in this class and so one thing we have to remember how you are going to ascertain these tests physical characters, chemical characters, biological characters. Physical tests indicate properties detectable by the senses. Chemical tests determine the amount of minerals and organic substances that affect the water quality. Biological tests show the presence of bacteria and characters of the vehicle pollution. So, once again, I want to discuss the points regarding health effects of chemical parameters. As already mentioned, I can take an example of hardness or it is a calcium. The calcium is less than uh, 200 mg per liter and uh, is going to have a health effect. I, as I mentioned about the fluoride, if it is less than 1.5 mg per liter, it is going to be in range of 1 to 1.5 mg per liter. If it is less than 1 mg per liter, it is going to cause dental cavities and it is greater than 1.5 mg, it is going to cause a skeletal fluorosis. With these things, I hope uh, you have understood the importance of water quality with reference to physical, chemical and biological parameters and this we can discuss in detail taking one by one in the next class. Thank you.